So here we are in North Wales. Next walk on the cards. And another storm. The wind has been battering us all night. Battering the cabin. 60, 70 mile an hour winds. Hammering down with rain. And the numpties are heading out. For some strange reason. Why not? Well, here we go. Dom the waterproofs. So I'm hoping you can hear me. Once again, absolutely crazy winds, just ridiculous. So I'm huddled in a little hollow next to this nice little beck. Shell's waiting for me up there. But the scenery is spectacular, so I'll hop up and let you have a look around. But there's going to be some wind. Come on. We're supposed to be on, but we're going to wing it as best we can and carry on. Windy enough for you. Now, I've seen some weird things in the hills in my times, but one thing I've never seen. There's a Morris Minor hubcap nailed to a fence post. But there's a first for everything. Onwards into the wind. from being where we want to be. We actually want to be the other side of that ridge there. So there's a path over there we can see we want to be on. Um, we're trying to sort of rack and bash down through all this to get to it, but it's not proving very easy. A little uh, river crossings. Though. We know where we want to go, we just can't get there. We'll check in again at some point soon. You can hear what we're saying. Onwards and a bit further round into Powers to the Berwyn Mountains. So this place gets overlooked. But it's absolutely beautiful. We've not seen a, another person yet today. <laughs> Some weirdo over there. Found 
ourselves a little wooded area out the wind to have some fodder and we're continuing the crisp reviews because they've been met with resounding success and we've had a kind subscriber who's calling himself Bear Grills. I don't believe that's a real name but he Thank sent us know. it is. He sent us some nice crisps. He sent us some fire eaters smoking hot smokehouse cayenne flavour. Seabrooks. Dare you eat the heat. Four, four chili rating. <coughs> so we're gonna have a little look at these and see how these fare. I've got cold at the moment, so I'm hoping these are gonna cook might, through it. Might clear your nose out a bit. Let's see what these are saying. Not as hot as the jalapenos. You get hotter. Well, there's an afterburn, yeah. Oh. What are you going for? Try another one. Um. They go nicer with a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind but. beer after that. What are you saying? I'm not a big spicy person, so I'm going to go 7.5. I'm going to go for an 8, because they're, they're kind of spicy, but there's not a, a lot of flavour there. It's yeah, just kind true. of spicy. Heat. So we'll meet in the middle, 7.75. Okay. I think it's a 7.75 on the fire eaters. Keep them coming though. So we're uh, back down on the valley floor, we come to the little river we were told about and it's well and truly burst its banks, just shows how much flooding is going on here at the moment, standing water in all the fields, loads of water on all the paths up there on the fells, it's uh, pretty crazy, we're hoping this is the end of the storm now, it's supposed to be subsiding a bit today where they're getting a bit better, but we'll see. Well, it's crazy that, isn't it? Evidence of the flooding here, and you can see how high it's been. This is a gate we've just come to go through, and the river's obviously been flowing through the gate. So that's been about three foot higher than it already is. So it's been uh, even worse than this, and the little bridge is barriered off. Gets flooded. Yeah. Step on over this. I've got a piece of log jammed in there from the river as well. And look at this. It's made quite a mess, it has. 
So I'm always finding my new houses. <laughs> this is well cool. Doesn't give us a price, unfortunately. And it looks like it's a little place that makes them. But. It's very nice. For one fitted kitchen and. Bathroom and that. Very nice indeed. Should we, <laughs> Should we make him an offer? So we've come round another corner and found this weird little <coughs> remains of some kind of building. Not quite sure what it was. Halfway up the side of a mountain. But let's go and have a look around it, hey? most of the rain which has been quite fortunate uh, but the weather hasn't been great we've had to modify the route a bit because of the flooding and the wind just was... so much flooding we just oh. some of the paths were impassable yeah. weren't they? so we've just kind of winged it a little bit and ended up up here don't even really know where up here is but uh, yeah the clouds getting grayer and the lights fading so I think we're gonna head back down off here and into the digs mm -hmm. but before we do we wanted to say hi to our two new subscribers, count them. Number one is Alec, all the way over in Mumbai in India. Hiya mate. And Jez, living up in Sheffield. And Jez, remembered the red sauce. <laughs> Always prepared. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to uh, head out of our little hollow. We'll give you a quick look around in the, in the wind. It is nice. Flooding down there. Yeah. Next stop is going to be the Higgs. So, as you can see, light has faded pretty fast, but we are back at the digs. Check this one out, this is pretty cool. Another mini cabin. Barbecue, which I don't think we'll be using. Whoa. And here we are. There's your living room. There's your bedroom. And there's your kitchen. Small, but it does the job. It's cool, isn't it? So, I guess this is us signing off for this one. It's been fun, a bit of a mixed bag of weather again, some hefty winds and rain, but not too bad, enjoyable all the same. Yeah. And we'll definitely be back. Uh, hopefully get some better weather next time. 
So until then, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.